And Daily Weatherspoon reporting numbers this morning. Uh, thank you very much for joining us, Tim, on the programme. I want to start by talking about the outlook for the company, if I could, because you're, you've reported like-for-like -like sales since year-end, up by more than 6%, but at the same time, you seem to be telling investors, don't get carried away, don't go upgrading your estimates, we're, we're going to be in line. So what is the outlook here? Um, I think the outlook's uh, solid enough. And we've obviously produced uh, good sales for the last couple of years and to our slight surprise they accelerated uh, over the last six weeks a bit. But uh, I think the last two years are a more accurate guide so you're in the three to four percent uh, range. And so we don't want people to get carried away as you've said with a six week uh, 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 reporting of slightly higher figures. We see, uh, Tim, Matt Miller here in Berlin, we see UK unemployment falling to lows, the labor market um, gets tighter. On the one hand, does that make it, uh, do you feel like you have to give employees a little bit more money to come into work? Um, well, there's certainly that, yes. The, the, the pay has gone up in the last year or two by around 4%, which is over the level of inflation. So um, when unemployment gets down to that level, um, eventually uh, you start to pay a bit more. And that's, uh, that's going to happen in this case, I'm sure. Uh, Green King recently talked about the challenges of a weaker consumer environment, Tim. Do you have those same concerns? I don't know. I think, um, I think the consumer is doing all right. There were quite a lot of reports six months ago that credit card debt was increasing, etc. So I think it's quite good news if it's uh, mellowed a bit. But uh, Visa came out with a report for August which said um, in certain sectors consumer spending was up 3.5%. I think a supermarket chain called Morrison's has, has had pretty good sales. We've had good sales. Wagamama, a trendy restaurant chain's done well. So I think, uh, I think there are ups and downs within the individual companies, but overall, with the low unemployment, etc., even though wages haven't gone up much, it's sailing along quite nicely at the moment. Tim, I wonder about the mix of what you're selling. Um, we, we're always interested to know if spirits are more popular, if beer is gaining popularity. What are Weatherspoon's customers coming in to buy? Well, I'm almost ashamed to say that our number one product in, the, in a pub is Lavazza Coffee. Um, which is an amazing, uh, an amazing turnaround. And the second, uh, the second is uh, Pepsi Cola sells more than any any beer. But uh, apart from that, it's um, uh, I think all the sectors are doing well. Um, uh, we're selling a lot of real ale. Uh, we're selling a lot of uh, a lot of craft beer. And spirits are doing pretty well. So overall, um, there's not too many things you can pick out. Food in, the, in our pubs for years has been slightly stronger than everything else. So sadly, in a way, probably food and coffee. <laughs> yeah, Tim, amazed or embarrassed <laughs> for a publican, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, let, me, let me ask you a little bit. You talked about the consumer sailing on, uh, along nicely. Would that continue if we saw a hike in interest rates? I know I'm not interested in an economist's view, but just from what you, what you see around your, around your pub chain and the impact that this would have on your customers. Well, you're talking to quite an old guy here. So I've been in the business since 79 and seen interest rates go up to 15% and back down again to almost nothing. Um, I think if the economy's sailing on OK and the other indicators say that interest rates should go up a bit, then it tends not to uh, disrupt things too much. If the judgment is right, it doesn't disrupt things as much as people sometimes anticipate. Tim, uh, just want to quickly ask, you know, six months into, seven months into negotiations, how do you feel the Brexit, as a supporter, how do you feel the Brexit negotiations are going now and what do you expect? Um, well, I think the government's doing really well. I think David Davis is keeping calm. I think that it's always going to be difficult to negotiate with um, the unelected oligarchs who are in charge in Brussels like uh, Juncker and Barnier and the others. Uh, they're doing a lot of grandstanding, in my opinion. They don't want to make life easy. I'd be quite happy to uh, uh, 
trade just on um, World Trade Organization terms, which we do with a lot of countries, most of the world, okay. and I think that would be great.